Hello everyone and welcome to another 30 minute yoga practice with Driven. My name is Beth, I'm your yoga instructor today and today's practice is good for everybody, for whatever ails you. It's especially good if you um, are active in other ways. This will be a nice complement to your um, fitness lifestyle if you do sports, if you are if you're a runner, uh, whatever it is you do to try to stay fit. But let's face it, even if you sit on the couch all day or you're stuck at your desk for work, um, all this stretching, all this movement is going to be good for you as well. So this practice is good for everybody all around yoga practice. So great. I'm glad you're here. We are going to start standing. So you can come to the top of your mat. And let's take a moment to know that we're standing. And I know that that sounds so obvious, but we really just want to put everything else to the side for the next 30 minutes as much as we can. So check that your feet are hip distance apart. Spread, toes are spread really wide, gripping the mat with your toes. And just take a few moments to check in with yourself, see how you're doing today. Feel your body standing on your mat and just notice the position that you come into without making any adjustments. How is your posture? That's always good to just consider that. <clears throat> so feel the feet, feel them rooting down. Notice if you're standing evenly on both feet. Maybe you're shifting more to one foot than the other. Try to root down evenly and also evenly in the four corners of each foot. So you're not leaning into the instep or on your heel or whatever. So uh, nice and grounded there. As I said, spread those toes and then pull up, move into your knees and pull your kneecaps up. Feel how that engages the muscles in the calves and the thighs. So there's some engagement right there. Move up into your hip girdle, pull your pelvic floor up all the way up, engaging, squeezing together and the glutes as well. Keep them squeezed and then move up into your belly. Pull that navel into your spine. All of a sudden, this standing pose is starting to feel very different. Moving up into the rib cage area, press those the front of those ribs together. We call that knitting the ribs together. So pulling the ribs kind of in and up. Shoulders press down. Shoulder blades are tucking in towards the midline of your back. You can face your palms forward and check to make sure um, your shoulders are over your hips. A lot of times people are leaning forward a little bit for whatever reason, but we want to keep those shoulders right over the hips and then the top of the head reaching up towards the ceiling. I like to think of my ears over my shoulders. That's a good um, kind of indicator of how my upper posture is um, aligned. So now Examine your body. Notice how you're feeling. Keeping everything engaged and squeezing in and up, but rooting down through the feet. We root down so that we can rise up. That's just a good, good metaphor for life, right? And let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. And just let the head roll in all directions, just starting with the neck and upper back. Just noticing any tightness that we try to release here, nice and slowly, a couple times in one direction, and then a couple times in the opposite direction. Oh, I just heard a big crack. Notice the sounds. <laughs> and then bring the head to center. Inhale and bring your arms up overhead. Keep your shoulders down, but lengthen your posture through your spine. Root down and lift up, lift, lift your gaze all the way up and press your arms back along your ears. And then float your arms down. Head comes back to a neutral position. Inhale, bring your arms up, spread those fingers, reach up high, head falls back and release. One more time, inhale, bring your arms up, reach up high, and then we'll do some rope climbing here. So make believe you have a rope with the knots in front of you, and we're just going to climb up that rope, reaching from side to side, pulling that knot down. Notice how good it feels to open up those ribs on each side and stretch, trying to keep the weight 
continuing to root down through both feet. So don't shift your weight from side to side. One more time on each side. And then bring both arms up. Release them behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Roll your shoulders back and down. Press your knuckles down towards the earth. Lift your gaze. This is great for posture and preventing that uh, rounded back that sometimes happens as we age. Not that we are aging, but just, you know, for others. <laughs> Pull the arms away from your body. And relax your posture. Inhale, bring your arms up. Here we go. Let's forward fold. Drop your head. Neck is long. Gravity is pulling your head closer to the earth. Weight is in your toes so that your knees are aligned over your ankles. And relax your body here. Let your body fall closer to your legs. Bring your arms, your hands into your elbows. Take a couple of nice deep breaths. Make sure your, your navel is still pressing back into your spine. If this is tough on your hamstrings, feel free to bend your knees, of course. Always noticing what your body needs and giving your body what it needs. And then inhale, release your hands to the mat. Inhale, come halfway up. Weight is in the toes. Chin is reaching forward. Heart is reaching forward. Back is flat. And then exhale, fold forward. Bend your knees. Reverse swan dive. Bring your arms all the way up. And float your arms down. Building on from there. Inhale, bring your arms up, reaching high, and exhale, fold. Keep your hands on the mat, relax your neck. Inhale, come halfway up, flat back, and exhale, fold. Bring your left foot back for a low lunge and rest your, um, your upper body on your right thigh. You can drop your hips. You can add a little movement here if that feels good. Lifting up into cupcake hands. So on the uh, fingertips, pressing that left heel back behind you. Nice straight spine. And when you're ready, lift your arms up. Raise your hips a little bit. Shoulders are down. Holding here. You might feel your body swaying a little bit. That's perfect. That's part of the pose. Practicing balance. Breathe and notice. Keep the belly pulled in. And energetically, try to press that left hip forward and the right hip back. So we keep those hips nice and aligned. One more breath here. And exhale, fold. Step that left foot forward. Inhale, come halfway up. And exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive and come all the way up. Fingertips touch, reaching back behind you. Straighten your posture and float your arms down. Nice job. Let's go through that again on the other side. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Weight is in the toes. Nice hamstring stretch here. Shoulders are back. Straight. It back is straight. And exhale, fold. Bring your right foot back behind you. Cupcake. Oh, no, not yet. Not cupcake hands. <laughs> First, let your um, upper body rest on that left thigh. So that's really good for digestion. It gives those internal organs a nice massage. And then, of course, you can add movement, give your body what it needs. And now bring those cupcakes back. Okay, now I'm going to want to have a cupcake after this. <laughs> cupcake fingers, meaning you're uh, leaning into the tips of your fingers. That lifts your body up off your thigh a little bit and prepares you to lift up. So when you're ready, ground down through your feet and lift back up. Arms straight up towards the ceiling. Shoulders are down. Looking straight ahead. Fix your gaze. Belly's pulling in. Right hips are energetically pulling forward. Breathe and notice. Spread those fingers. Smile, and exhale, fold. Excellent work. Bring that right foot forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive. Come all the way up. And float the arms down. Nice deep breath. Inhale through the nose. 
Open mouth, exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. All right, we're going to continue. We're going to do that again, but we're going to add on. So let's go. If you thought it was fun the first time, just wait. It's going to get better. <laughs> Inhale, bring your arms all the way up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Left foot back into a lunge. Hold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold, and bring that right foot back into plank. You knew that was coming, right? Squeeze those glutes, pull your navel in, press your shoulders back. Don't let those hips drop, so keep them nice and lifted. I always tell people, if you have to either drop or go higher, go higher. <laughs> but the goal is to be somewhere in between. Pressing your heels back, pressing the mat away from you. Two more breaths. And then press back into down dog. Nice. Pedal it out nice and slowly. And then just, we'll just hold it in for a down dog because it's such an awesome pose. Press your heels down. Don't lock your knees. Release your head. Press your hands away. Nice little movement here. And then walk your feet forward. Reverse swan dive all the way up. And float your arms down. Deep breath through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it out. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Those deep breaths. Can't beat them. All right, let's do that on the other side. Inhale, bring your arms up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Right leg comes back. Just adjust your alignment here. And when you're ready, lift your arms up. Inhale, and exhale, fold. Left foot comes back. Hello, plank. All right, let's make sure we're aligned in a nice, strong way. Fingers are spread, pressing down into the pads of your fingertips, pressing the mat away from you, pressing your uh, shoulders back, head is in line with your spine. Squeeze, pull up. Breathe. Tell yourself how strong and awesome you are. Tell yourself, good job for just showing up today. One more breath. And instead of down dog, bring your knees to the mat. And child, actually, let's go into embryo pose, which is child's pose, but just a little younger. <laughs> Bringing your arms along the sides of your body, palms facing up, forehead to the mat, deep breath in. And just relax and let go here. All right, and let's come back up into a standing position. Tuck your toes. Back into down dog. Walk your feet forward. Inhale halfway. And exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive and all the way up. And relax your arms to the sides. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up. One more time through, adding one more thing. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Left foot back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Right foot back for plank. Now you can drop your knees here if you want. Totally perfect. Or you can keep your knees straight. Shift your weight forward. Bend your elbows and lower your chest to the mat. 
push up into Cobra. Shoulders back and down. Uh, chest forward and pelvic bone on the mat. Tuck your toes down, dog. Walk your feet forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive. All the way up. We're going to go right into the other side. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Right foot back for lunge. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Left foot back for plank. Drop your knees if you like. Bring your elbows in along your ribs and lower yourself down nice and slowly with control. Inhale, push up into cobra. Relax the hips into the mat. Tuck your toes. Down dog. Separate your feet the width of your mat. And just let your hips shift from side to side. Nice job on that, everybody. Pause on the center. Bring your feet back to uh, hip distance apart. Bring your knees to the mat. Cross at the ankles. And let's make our way down to the mat on our backs. So coming all the way down. <clears throat> pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice hug. Rock from side to side. And then release your feet to the mat. Starting to wind down here. Let's just do a little bit of work with pelvic tilts to help anyone who's struggling with lower back issues. This is just good for the lower back, good for the core. So right here in this kind of neutral posture, feet are on the mat, hip distance apart. Relax your hips. Let your spine go into your um, neutral position. So from Many of us, most of us, we could probably slide our hands under our back because of the natural curve in our back. And everyone has a different degree of curving. So notice that curve. And then take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, press that curve, the whole spine, into your mat. And tilt your pelvis up a little bit so that your hip bones are kind of mm, not getting closer, but just energetically getting closer to your chest. Pulling the navel all the way in and pulling up through your pelvic floor, squeezing that whole area together. And then inhale, relax the muscles and release. Exhale, press the spine down, tilt, tilt the pelvis up, squeeze everything up and in, and release. Well, let's, let's do it a couple more times. You know, when I'm doing this, I'm really, I'm like trembling in my belly, it really engaging tight. So notice what's happening for you. And release. One more time. And before you release it, lift the um, pelvis and the hips up off the mat and press those hips up toward the ceiling. And then walk your shoulder blades together one step in towards the center line of your mat. Root down through your feet. Squeeze your glutes. Lift your hips towards the sky. Hold here. Nice long breaths here. Notice as you inhale and your chest rises up towards your chin. So notice that. We want to get some deep breaths in. And then we'll just add some little pulses here to work the glutes. So little pulses. Squeeze the glutes together. Lift the hips and release. Lift and release. Squeezing everything together and then release. Squeeze and lift. Lower release. So let's do a whole bunch of these to so really feel those glutes fire up. Squeeze and release. Squeeze. So some people, because they like to multitask, they also like to squeeze their fists and then release. <laughs> you know, we don't work the fingers a lot in our daily fitness and yoga routines. But we need to move them. We need to articulate those joints, too. So if you want to add that, that's always good. All right, are those glutes burning? Mine are starting to squeeze. Let's do five more. One, two, lift those hips straight up. Keep those knees hip distance apart. Two more, we're almost finished. 
and lower those hips down. Nice job. Bring those knees to your um, shoulders and then grab onto your big toes. Bring the soles of the feet up towards the ceiling and then pull down so you feel a nice stretch through the, uh, through the groin. Rock from side to side. Keep that tailbone pressing down. Massage your whole back with this movement. And then pause in the center. Bring the soles of your feet together. Release them to the mat. Bring your arms out to the side. Butterfly pose. Deep breath in. Open mouth. Exhale. Relax the muscles in your groin. Let those knees float closer to the earth. Inhale. Open mouth. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And then um, just straighten your legs on the mat. Straighten your right leg and just hug your left knee into your chest. Keep that ankle flexed. Press it in there. Massage those internal organs with your thigh and then switch legs. And then a couple more times, but not letting the opposite leg fall to the earth. Instead, push that heel away so you're stretching the one leg Pressing the other one in. Just a couple more times, side to side. Good for the hips, good for the belly. One last time. And then bring both knees into your chest. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders up off the mat. Wrap your arms around your shins. See if you can grab onto your opposite elbows. Squeeze into a little tiny ball, turn to the chest, rock from side to side. There you go. There's a free back massage. And then release all the way down for your Shavasana. We'll do a short Shavasana today, but maybe today you want to stay in longer. So when we sit up, you stay down and just continue to enjoy. Deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth. Exhale. Here we go. Feel your body resting on the mat. Go back to your normal breath and feel your inhale. Nourish your body and let your exhale cleanse your body. And for those of you who are going to end your practice here, Let's roll over onto our sides and come up to a seated position. But honestly, couldn't you just stay in that Shavasana for another half hour? All right, so sitting up nice and tall on your mat. Inhale through your nose. One last time, open mouth, exhale. Hands to heart center. The light in me salutes the light in you every single time. Namaste, my friends. Thank you for joining me. Awesome practice. So glad you were here. Check out all the uh, Driven YouTube videos. They are getting me through this whole last few months, last year, everything. So I'm so grateful that I have them. Hope you are too. And I hope to see you here um, next week.